sit back and enjoy. Been known for a long time that viruses can kill cancer, and and I uh, for uh, over fifty years, people have been trying to to find a virus that kills cancer well enough to use as therapy. Uh, it's not far fetched to think that we can find such a cancer of design. Uh, that, that it's not far fetched that we can actually uh, uh, find a, such a natural virus that only kills cancer or make a virus that only kills cancer. Because if you think about it, in hepatitis. Uh, hepatitis viruses only infect liver cells. In meningitis, uh, the viruses only infect brain or, no, or neural cells. And so the idea that there is a virus out there or we can design such a virus to only infect cancer, not far-fetched, and people have been trying to do it for many years. And, uh, and I think we're very close to having, having uh, a virus that does just that. What we did was this, uh, there are a number of viruses that have been given to man and have found very safe as vaccines. We said, what if we took a whole bunch of these? And, uh, and in this case, we took nine different viruses, put them into the same cell. Viruses live to trade in genetic materials. It's just that in nature, it's very rare that more than one virus will enter a single cell. And so having nine different vi vaccine strain of viruses in a, can uh, in a cancer cell, these viruses traded all kinds of genetic material. So we isolated 200 different new viruses that never existed before. And then we went through and said, why don't we just test them against every, uh, every good cell line we know that, uh, that uh, we want to kill. And so we took something called the NCI-60. Uh, NCI stands for the National Cancer Institute. This is the 60 cell lines that is used by the NCI to screen for any new cancer therapy that's coming through to see what cancers it might be good for. And, uh, and I said, I don't care about just a gay virus that kills only brain cancer or only pancreatic cancer. What if we just said, we only care about those new viruses that killed every cancer. And uh, we were able to find five or six that were really good at this. And, uh, and then we said, how many of these are really safe for animals and potentially for man? And that's how CF33 was born. This is a virus that kills everything in the NCI60 and was found to be very, very safe when we injected it in the animals. So we think we have a virus that is very close to a one that only infects cancer. When people are designing a cancer uh, killing agent or, or a cancer therapy, if the therapy is really good at a single kind of cancer, that's usually good enough, okay? People are generally saying, let's go cure leukemia or let's go cure pancreatic cancer. And, uh, but what we are actually trying to do is to find something that could kill many, many different types of cancer. And that's because it's been very clear over the last two decades that in order for the, our immune system to attack cancer, we actually have to have the right immune cells at the local area. We actually have to be able to activate them to recognize the cancer as foreign and viruses are really good at that. And, uh, and therefore trying to find one that could be used in, in many different kinds of cancer for such usage. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. And, and now we get to put it to, do, to human testing and it, it's a very exciting day. One of the things that we noticed early on in testing CF33 was how remarkably potent it was against cancer. Meaning that in many animal models, we were able to cure animals of cancer with as little as a thousand particles of virus. Let me put that in perspective. Uh, in the last generations of viruses that were being tested, it was very rare that if you, uh, you, can, you can impact upon the outcomes of the animals with anything less than a million particles or, or 100 million or even a billion particles. And now we're down to a thousand for this current virus. And we didn't see any toxicity in animals until up to about a billion particles. And uh, therefore, huge window of, uh, of of what is potent for cancer and what is safe for man or, or animals. And so quite excited about it.